Now it's time to begin to talk about MicroStation text favorites. MicroStation text favorites are labels that we build that are intelligent. In other words, we can set up a text favorite for a point which represents the coordinates or a point that represents a station and offset or a point that represents an elevation and we can reuse those favorites. And so we're going to take a look at how this works. To get started we need a DGN library to work with and in the Open Roads Training and Examples workspace we deliver a text favorites DGN library that has all of the major favorites already created for us. Now of course we would want to customize those to our particular environment but again it beats starting from scratch so I'm going to copy our text favorites over to our working environment and we're going to paste that into here and we're going to make this one our own so we're going to rename it to Agency XYZ Text Favorites and then we're going to go ahead and open that file. So to begin to set up text favorites we're going to enter into the Place Text dialog and one of the requirements for text favorites is to select a text style. So let's say for example we want to create a text favorite for major station text for plan view annotation as an example. So I'm going to pick an annotation here called Station Major Text Left Descender Justified and that comes over from our text styles that were in delivered that we copied over in another video. And so with a text style selected and by the way you can access your text style dialog here. Now we actually want to create our label. Well let's say as a starting point we might want to have a prefix for this station. So we could put in whatever text we want with a space at the end of that as a prefix if we wanted to. And now we can put in our computed text. And in this particular drop-down, if we select the insert field, we have several different options. Our focus is going to be on the Open Roads computed fields. So we have Open Roads plan annotation, Open Roads Profile Annotation and Open Roads Cross Section Annotation fields. It seems logical if I wanted to create a major station text label for my plan view that I would enter into the Open Roads Plan Annotation fields. There is a couple of differences between the fields that we can pick that are MicroStation based, which are the model properties, the file properties, the placeholder for cell properties, digital signature, and link properties. These are MicroStation. The last three are for open roads. If I go to pick one of the MicroStation ones, it's going to ask me to select something typically that's already drawn. Whereas if I go to pick something from open roads, it's going to pull up a dialog to let me select something that is not drawn. And so that's one of the primary differences. And also if I want to compute a station or an offset or a coordinates based on something that is civilized in open roads designer, you're going to have to use these particular fields. And I have found that for all of the annotations that I've set up, this is the areas that I would be working in. So let's go ahead and go into our Open Roads Plan annotation fields. And select OK there. And we get this dialog. And this dialog allows us to pick and build our label. Well, we mentioned that we wanted to specify a station. A station is a singular point. It's not a line it's not an arc or a spiral so you can see the categories we have something linear uh, a point and notice we have linear and then we have line here so I typically use the line and the arc uh, categories here uh, for any type of labeling along our alignments and we have spirals and then under geometry we have basic start and end points it, I think that after you get into this you're going to see that all the basics are here that you're going to need for your annotations. In our particular example I need to label a point, a particular points station. And so when I select that I get to select what format I want to see that station label. So in other words if I'm Imperial I might select this as my label. If I'm in metric perhaps I choose this as the format and we're going to be doing Imperial here. 
we can then put in whatever delimiter we want and you can see it shows down at the bottom what is going to be the resultant then we can select our precision so maybe we wanted three decimal places in our label we can do three we can do two or if this is a major station text uh, maybe we want to set this to zero decimal places totally up to you and then we have how we handle station equations either by name or by index this is a kind of a throwback to the geopack inroads days of alphabetic or numeric in terms of station regions and then on our station if we want to set up station equations we have how we can set up the ahead and the back fields okay so this is this is what the resultant label would look like and so we select OK and so we have a prefix that we've typed in and then we have a computed field for a point station now the last step in the process is quite simple we highlight it all of it we right click and we select to save text favorites now this is a work in progress so just bear with me on this particular part of it we're going to select save text favorite and it's going to give it a name based on the portion of the text that you have here okay if I come in here I can a single click I can give it a, a name and I'll just call this you know XYZ but you see what happens as I start to type it won't let you type it in here and so you can simply backspace in here you did not lose your work go down to the favorites again right click and rename and now you can rename it so we'll just type in station XYZ whatever and so now we have this text favorite in here and so if I go into the drop downs here and I select it it's going to reproduce what we stored out if I clear this out let's say that I go in here and show something else an offset and elevation label so there's an offset and elevation label and disregard these these placeholder numbers uh, those will go away when you actually go to use the label it will put in the proper values just consider those placeholders and we go back in here again and notice how the text style changes depending on which one we pick and so if I go down and pick our entry again it went back to that particular text style now there are a lot of text styles because we brought this DGN library over from the Open Roads Examples and Trainings workspace there's a lot of different examples in here already set up for us and so you'll see alignment partial stationing is, a, is one and it's following the same principles we have bearing label beginning coordinates cardinal stations curve labels let's take a look at curve labels for example now one of the things that I had to do here was I set up a curve label left and a curve label right and the only difference really is to control the suffix on the delta and so each of these are computed fields and so if I were to double click on that it's not going to help me it's not going to take me into that property um, but what I could do let's say that for example on my PI station I wanted three decimal places and so I can just backspace through that go back to my plan annotation field now in this particular situation we have the PI of an arc and so we would go to the arc PI station it's still technically a point but it's the PI of an arc here and so this is this is handled a little bit different and we can come in here then and look at how the format is set the delimiter uh, the precision you know let's say we we use the example we might want three decimal places and then we select OK to that and then that will present then itself the arc PI station value and so we have the delta um, if we were to look at what that delta would look like we'll go back to the arc and you'll see right there is our delta and this is a delta signed so you'll have the differences there if you want the minus sign in there so a lot of different options the one thing in here that we do not quite yet support is the a capability of developing a spiral curve spiral combination label and that is something that is going to be a future enhancement to the product and so we have all of these different types of fields that we look at creating in our label annotations again just to scroll through these we have everything to do with uh, our plan view so we have the points the lines the arcs the spirals 
you just pick what it is you want it to to be as part of your label once it's picked you set the particular settings that you want to see and you select OK and it'll put that intelligent label in your particular entry. One other observation to point out here is when you do have multiple lines that you're creating in your text favorite the additional lines are typically going to show up as zero this is normal and just is working as designed when this particular label is used those zeros will be changed to real numbers just like the number on the top line will be recomputed to the proper value now one of the things I mentioned in an earlier video was on your text style pay attention to line spacing and you can see here's a good example why you would want to do that. And so this is the MicroStation Connect text favorites dialog and how you get in there and manage these. I do know that they are working on a whole new favorites manager dialog to be released in a future version of MicroStation which will also show up in Open Roads Connect uh, at a future time. I'm not sure exact on the release dates but you know right now you're just going to have to create it and then come back in here right click and rename it. So this will conclude our general introduction to our text favorites and now we're going to begin to looking at building some actual labels. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.